Good afternoon, welcome to Ebony and Ivory Motors in Scunthorpe. My name is Byron and I'm here to show you this 2014 14 plate Audi A3 2 litre TDI Sport Cabriolet finished off in a nice metallic silver. First things first, I'm going to do a quick walk around of the vehicle. Then when we get back around to the start, I'll show you the car once again, but in greater detail. These videos are brutally honest as we're using to prep from in our Volkswagen Audi Specialist Workshop. And we'll give you a very clear picture of the true condition of the car and what we're prepared to do to them prior to sale. Now we're we'll back round to the start. I'm going to zoom back in and we'll look over the car panel by panel. So the near side front wing is in good condition. The near side front door is in good condition and the near side rear quarter looks good as well. Near side front alloy, really, really nice condition alloy. Um, only very light markings here look like they maybe from fitting tyres in the past. The near side front tyre is a high-end done one with a good six point tread remaining. Moving down the near side to the near side rear alloy, another really nice condition alloy, one or two very tiny little marks there. Other than that, it looks good. And we've got a high end Pirelli with approximately four or five mils tread remaining. Looking back down the near side now, making sure we haven't missed anything. Near side rear quarter looks good, near side front door looks good, and the near side front wing looks good. Moving around the rear of the car now, so we're going to check out the rear bumper and lower plastics to start with. All lower plastics and the rear bumper itself look in really nice condition. If anything, you only get one or two light marks, as you'd expect with the age and mileage of the car, that will be polished up and touched in the best we can with a genuine Audi touch or paint prior to sale. Tail lights and tailgate look in nice condition. And along the uh, top of the tailgate is good, along with all the trims that replace the roof, all in nice condition. Looking down the off side of the car now from rear to front, Offside rear quarter is good, offside door is good, and the offside front wing is good. Offside rear alloy, really nice condition alloy again, possibly only one tiny, tiny little mark there. And the offside rear tyre, matching axle, so it's a high end Pirelli again with approximately four or five mil tread remaining. Moving down the offside to the offside front alloy, another really nice condition alloy, and again a matching axle, so we've got high end Dunlop with a good six mil tread. Looking back down the offside now from front to rear. Offside front wing is in good condition. Offside door looks good. And the offside rear quarter looks good. Moving around the front of the car now, so we're going to check out the front bumper itself and all the lights and grills. As you can see, all lights and grills are in good condition. And so is the front bumper for its age and mileage. Always expect a couple little marks. Again, on a car of this age but it is in good condition and if we do see any little marks we'll polish them up and touch them in the best we can. Final panel to look over is the bonnet. As you can see the paintwork on the bonnet is in good condition, no major chips or dents or anything like that. We do just get the one or two touch-ups to be done along the front, again as you'd expect with a car of this age. Other than that, looks in really nice condition. Before we make our way through the interior we'll check out the front screen. No major chips or cracks. Very light surface peppering just on the driver's side here and it does look like we've got one or one or two chips just down the bottom here but they have been previously repaired so in good condition. Now we're going to check out the interior starting in the boot. All of the carpets and plastics in this boot are in good condition as you can see only very light wear on that panelling there that looks in good condition and all the panelling underneath the boot lids in good condition as well. Easy peasy, you can just chuck the phone over the back here to look at the rear bench. Immaculate rear bench, almost as if nobody's been sat in it. Two factory headrests, two three-point seat belts. And we've got Isofix fittings to both seats as well. And as you can see, we've got a couple of usable cup holders in the center too. Moving through the front now, front door cards are in good condition. Front carpets look good. And there you have the front leather seats, bolsters still firm, holding their shape. No excessive wear, no rips, no tears, uh, no cigarette burns, no traces of any odours or anything like that. Passenger seat is in the same condition, if not nicer. Really, really well kept. No signs of any dash repairs or plastic repairs at all. Just shut the door behind me. We'll start the car up and run you through as much of the spec as I can. So we've got full electronic windows with electronic adjustable heated and power folding side mirrors. Central locking controls just in front of the driver's door handle. Automatic lights and wipers in this car. 
cruise control on underneath the indicators. Adjustable armrest. We've got electronic parking brake and the roof control I'll run through in a second. All the MMI controls, again, we'll run through those in a moment. Six speed manual transmission, two usable cup holders, dual climate control, air conditioning and front heated seats. Stop start, traction control, Audi drive select and the electronic folding screen in good working order as well moving through the MMI we've got DAV radio and a few other options in media we've got Bluetooth audio streaming and a couple of other options including your CD player and USD card player we do have telephone prep as well we do not have satellite navigation on this car so we're finished off with this leather-bound multi-function steering wheel and this car's on 92,295 miles. Before I let you go, we're just going to do the full roof operation and show you how quick and smooth these Audi cab roofs are. And I'll jump out and walk you around the condition of the soft top before ending the video. And that beep represents the uh, the end of the cycle. Just pop the windows up and we'll jump out. So you have a really nice condition black soft top as well. And there you have it. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you've got any questions regarding this car or any of our stock, please give us a call on 01724 876 555. Thank you again.